Hello and welcome. Uh, this is Austin from tclassfire.com. Today we are going to be looking at uh, some biology questions. Please hit the subscribe button by the right hand side of this so that anytime we release any video, you'll be the first to see them. Also, uh, give our videos thumbs up and like them, share them on various uh, social media so that your friends can see them. Uh, let's look at question number one. Which of these animals is radially symmetrical? So, in the previous uh, past question we looked at, we checked out uh, animals that are metamerically uh, segmented like the tapeworm, the, uh, the centipede and all of them. You know that shape. But whenever you talk about radially symmetrical, you, you're talking about animals like the hydra. Hydra is a sea animal. Uh, it has a cylindrical shape then with a, a foily uh, kind of body. So that is hydra. Uh, if you look at the shapes of the cockroach, snail and squid, uh, none of them has this very radially symmetrical shape. So in Jambi, you always see questions like uh, uh, metamerically segmented, you see radially uh, symmetrical and all the rest of them. So the right option here is Hydra. Now the amination occurs in the liver, uh, that is the answer for the number two. Now number three says, in an agricultural ecosystem, the biotic component consists of what? Whenever you hear biotic, biotic simply means living. So you check out the option that has living things. You know that living things are plants and animals. So if you check out the first option, you have crops, pests, and beneficial insects. You see, crops are plants, pests are animals, insects are also animals animals so you have option a having plants and animals so the word here that you look at is biotic it has to be plants or animal living thing but in the second option you have crops temperature temperature is not a living thing humidity is not a living so it cannot be the answer now in the third option you have pests beneficial insects and water water is not a living thing insects and pests are living things in the fourth option we have crops water and soil water and soil are not living things so the right option here is a now let's look at number four. Unlike us in gibberellins, do what? Option A, induce formation of adventurous root. No, that's not the function of auxins. Uh, that's not the functions of gibberellins. Do not affect leaf and fruit abscission. So the gibberellins do not affect leaf and fruit abscission, unlike auxin. It's actually the auxins that affect the uh, leaf and fruit abscission. Then uh, let's look at number five. Which of the following relationship involves only one organism? Which of the following involves only one organism? When we talk about uh, symbiosis, it, it involves two, both of them benefiting from one another. This is not symbolism, please. This is symbiosis. When you talk about parasitism, it involves two animals, one benefiting and the other one not benefiting. But when you talk about saprophytes, saprophytes are those animals that feed on dead, decaying organisms. So it actually involves one living organism and the other one is dead, decaying. So you can actually say that it's, this one involves only one organism. So saprophytism is that relationship that involves only one organism because that one organism is actually feeding on the decomposing part of another organism. Or dead materials so one organism feeding on dead materials is known as sapro saprophytism so those are that for those are uh, the ones we are picking out no one to five subsequent uh, videos we are going to be taking things like uh, double fertilization is a unique feature of what uh, and other questions so please hit the subscribe button we are going to be bringing in lots of lectures for you uh the the lectures we are taking from our schools uh recently we are going to be uploading them even the ones that are not done by me but done by uh my staff we are going to be uploading them and you're going to be seeing them so please hit the subscribe button immediately so that once we upload you'll be the first to see now if we answer any question that you feel that the answers are not right uh drop your comment in the comment section uh and tell us what you think the answers the right answers are so we also have every month we upload quiz questions and you're supposed to see them and follow up and in answering them uh, please hit the subscribe button immediately thank you and god bless you